Hello, Aries. Welcome to your December 2018 reading. I am sorry for missing you guys for the mid-months last month. I don't know how the heck that happened. Y'all were supposed to be the second video that I did, and somehow, some way, I missed you guys. So my apologies. And that is why you were first. So I'm going to look at the general energies for you guys for the month of December, our last month of the year, and also she -Doo's birthday, not like my birthday, but the channel's birthday, because I started this channel on the 22nd of December 2017. So we will be a year old, and I thank you for being here, my sweet precious. So anywho, I have a discount code that I'm going to put in the description box below to give you guys a little treat on ordering personal readings with me and on the 22nd of this month uh, I'm gonna go live and give away free stuff <laughs> but what I'm gonna do I'm trying to find a website that uh, you know where you can like I can set up an account for like a raffle you know like for people to um, you know, just submit their names in or whatever, and then I'm going to pick people at random to give stuff away to. So if you know a website that does that, then put that in the comments below. Because I've been searching for them, and they look kind of scammy. <laughs> so if you know one that's not scammy, holla at your girl. <laughs> but, uh, but that's going to be on the 22nd of this month. But I thank you guys for supporting me and sticking it out with me for uh, this whole year. And as you guys probably saw, we're at 23k subscribers, which is super freaking dope because I was bucked up when I had 100 subscribers, okay? I was like celebrating that, all right? <laughs> so 23k is on a whole nother level. And to make it there in a year, I'm so thankful for each and every one of you guys. So I want to do something special for you because you deserve it, Dagnabbit son of a gun, I said. So anywho, I'm going to look at the general energies for you guys for the month of December. But I do want to tell you, Aries, um, whew, I'm feeling some kind of something. I don't know what it is that's going on with you guys, but um, I was <laughs> tuning into y'all's energy and all of a sudden I got overcome with this feeling of uh, like nervous energy, pent up emotion, feeling kind of like insecure and unsure of myself and something of the sort but then like kind of irritated so almost as if all of this stuff is a byproduct of something that I'm feeling but I'm not saying anything about it you know and it's a very unsettling feeling it has a feeling all shaky and stuff so we're gonna tune in and see what's going on here and please don't judge my nail because it popped off and it looks really ratchet so you know love me anyway so first card we have for you guys is the first chakra then we have yin and yang then we have community then we have goddess of the moon then we have the angel of love in reverse financial constraints the second chakra Yikes, the third chakra. And then happy family. Okie dokie, lemon chokey. Okay, so you guys are being triggered. <laughs> Whatever it is you're dealing with, uh, you guys are being triggered. And it's triggering an old wound, right? And it's an old wound that is nine times out of ten family related. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like you have a stable family life, possibly, whether that's if you have your own family or your family, like mom, dad, brother, sister type of deal. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like it's a, a new family, which is either, you know, your uh your family like husband wife you know baby mom baby daddy whatever your new family <laughs> and it's like being triggered here and it's related to your family of origin you know what i'm saying but uh 
it's more or less like it or it could even be your friend group to be quite honest it's like whoever it is that you're interacting with right now um you're desiring one thing or it could be that there's nothing wrong here it's just there's something that's kind of triggering you that's relating back to uh past wounds that are intricately related to your self-worth self-love self-confidence type of deal and i feel like all of this is messing you up in a sense of like creativity or being able to produce the life that you want whether that's in a material sense a financial sense if it's in creative projects or what have you right but the whole basis of what's going on here because it's like i'm kind of giving you like the framework of what's happening but the basis of the issue is like a lack of self-confidence or self-worth or self-love right that's intricately related to uh you know what i say about root chakra stuff core beliefs childhood issues self-concept things of the sort and with there being issues with the root chakra it's a level of insecurity and you know i i always say not you know i don't think i'm pretty insecurity but just in totality not feeling safe right not feeling equipped or able to provide um a life for yourself um or stability for yourself or a foundation or so like say if this is a person that's like in a family situation like say if it's a man that is you know husband has kids and stuff it's like not feeling good enough to be the provider for the family now that may not necessarily be true right but it's a self-perception that's causing conflict in your life right now and i feel that it's mostly because because i see you're surrounded by people that are supportive of you but it's like you're not saying anything so it's almost like it's an internal struggle that you're going through but a, a huge part of that has a lot to do with the fact that it's like there's been a shift that's happened in your life and it's imperative for you to deal with this so i feel like the reason why this is being triggered is because you're going into a new cycle and it's more or less it's time for you to step into like your calling right like what it is that you feel spiritually led to do but your lack of confidence in yourself is blocking you from that but i'm seeing in so many ways it's like it's almost like you're undermining yourself if that makes sense because it's like this portal has opened the energy is there right and spirit is in support of this so it's like you have intuitive abilities you have spiritual gifts you know what i'm saying and it's like you're creating or have the ability to create from a pure authentic place and that's what your focus should be right now right because in your future energy like your immediate future i'm seeing that it's like you're drawing all of this in you're drawing in kindred spirits and 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 friendships that are more in alignment with you you're drawing in a romantic partner which may potentially be somebody who has kids already into your life you know what i mean or getting things on track with these people if you already have them but the thing that i see that's undermining everything right that's preventing you from from uh well i'm not gonna say preventing you from because the reversal cards are in your present energy so the thing is is like what spirit is really telling you what what what, what you need to do right now <laughs> is if you had any type of unction or thought that you were being called to go in the direction of this spiritual path like uh starting a spiritual business or going to take spiritual classes or what have you like anything that you felt led to do now is the time to do that 
but I feel like spirits bringing to the attention the whole thing that could be your great undoing or the thing that has always caused you to have financial problems is your lack of belief in yourself. So in, in this lack of belief in self that stunts your creativity and prevents you from creating the life that you want materially, financially, or in accordance with the type of people that you want in your life or manifesting the relationship that you really want, all of that is intricately related to this, right? So it's that, that, uh, that insecurity on a deep level of the fact of, and, and that's where I say it's like the, the feeling that I'm feeling, like I feel very ungrounded. Like it's almost like a, a it's an unsettling feeling for me. It's almost like feeling like I fell behind on my student loans or something. Like that's, <laughs> that's what I feel right now. Like that's literally what the emotion feels like. It's like being scared, but not like terrified. Like I'm in fear for my life. It's not that it's like, it's like, dog, that's so much interest that's piling up on them loans that I ain't paid in three months. That's like what it feels like. You know what I'm saying? Or like your car about to get repossessed or something. And it's like, it's a feeling right here in my belly, right? And that's where your um your solar plexus chakra is. And, and that's the card that's in reverse. You know what I'm saying? And this is like, this is where your energy from your root and from your sacral, I say this is kind of like the volcano chakra, right? Because your solar plexus next connects to your heart. And then this is the chakra that interrelates what is me to others and to myself, right? It's how God communicates with me, right? You know what I'm saying? And I'm grounding that energy so that I can manifest it into the physical realm, or what it is that spirit gives to me and it hits my heart chakra and I'm giving that to others. You know what I'm saying? It's like that connecting factor, but this is blocked. You know? And it's like, that's where I feel all of this energy at. And and whenever you have like um, an underactive solar plexus, that's where those feelings of insecurity and stuff come from. It's like, I don't feel sure of myself. I don't know if I can do this. But like I said, all of this is intricately related to this. It's that instability from back then. Like if we look at it like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, Google that. Look at what Maslow's hierarchy of needs deals with. That's all based in um, in our uh, like our survival needs, right? So this is whenever like in childhood... Because y'all knew I was going to say it. <laughs> when we, you know, there's an inconsistency in our needs being met. It's almost like that's like a brand that's put on us, right? And it's either we're going to be overly self-sufficient where we can't accept uh, help from other people. Or it's going to be us like, and see, that's it. It's like a hyper vigilance and in fear, because it's like, I don't know when the ball is going to drop. So yeah, it's kind of like if your car about to get repossessed, I don't know if I'm going to go outside and my car going to be outside. You know what I'm saying? I ain't paid these people. It's almost like a feeling like that. And dog, that can drive you crazy. Like it literally could. Because when I tell you like the feeling that I'm feeling, it's so unsettling that I was like, I need to do this reading so I could feel at peace. <laughs> because it's a very unsettling feeling. Like it, it it's... It's almost like being in fight or flight mode all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Like hyper vigilant, literally waiting for the ball to drop. You know what I'm saying? Well, in an indecisiveness, whew, Lord have mercy. But it's like all of that, that's messing with your money and everything because it's like, see this energy and I'm being 100% honest with you. Like how unsettling this is, this isn't good for your health. Like if if Aries is out there and y'all are feeling like this every day, because I could come up with a thousand examples. This is like, you know, I didn't kill somebody and they didn't find the body and I saw it on the news and I'm just counting down the days for the popos to not get my dope, you know, and I know I got life. Like that's literally what this feeling feels like. And I don't think my Aries are out there doing things like that. 
But it's just the simple fact that when we talk about your health, like this feeling like this, especially if this is every day, it's not healthy because being in this fight or flight mode, it causes your brain to release cortisol, right? Which is the stress hormone. And you know how they say that stress can kill you? Like it literally can kill you because high levels of cortisol pumping all throughout your body that starts to wear down your circulatory system. It wears down your heart. You know what I'm saying? That's not good. Like that is really not healthy for you. So there's a need to confront and deal with whatever this is intricately related to. You know what I'm saying? And start working on this self-confidence because the thing is, is like spirit is supporting you. But I feel like the reason why you've been being triggered or why this is kind of coming to a head is because like spirit is telling you in so many ways, this is something that needs to be dealt with. Like before you go into this new cycle and I say going into, because this is the end of a year, like going, you can't go into 2019 like this. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, all of the energies are in support of you and you're walking into a new chapter. You know what I'm saying? The, the things that you're looking for or the things that you're desiring, the things that you're trying to call in, all of these things are coming. You feel me? Yeah, dog. All of these things are coming and they're available to you. But the thing is, is that you can be your own undoing because of not being confident in your ability to maintain it and not trusting yourself or even on a deep level, not feeling that you really even deserve it, thinking I'm not good enough for this. You know what I'm saying? And the two cards that we have clarifying the angel of love in reverse is a uh, blossoming abundance and a woman holding the heart in reverse. So... <sighs> It's either this is intricately related to like a woman. It could be a mother figure. You know what I'm saying? Like an emotionally unavailable mom that uh, wasn't the nicest to you as a kid. And it making you feel you're not good enough. For women, this could be, uh, well, for women or men, if you like women, it could be a person who uh, was a partner that was emotionally unavailable to you that... Uh, may have told you a lot of negative stuff about yourself to where you stop believing in your own ability. <clears throat> but I feel heavily as like it's a mother figure. I feel that so heavy. You know what I'm saying? And I think that was at the bottom. No, it was a man holding a heart in reverse at the bottom of your deck. So for some of you guys, these are either past partners that have uh hurt you that were like verbally emotionally psychologically abusive they were emotionally unavailable and just manipulative and they made you feel less than for others of you it's parental figures that made you feel like you feel inadequate to make decisions for yourself so it's almost like you guys because you're so afraid of trusting your own decision making like you don't trust your own decision making to a point that you will stay stuck and not make a decision to take a path because of you not trusting yourself. So it's a lot of times you could be in a situation where you know it's not good for you and you know it's not right for you. Like say if you're in a relationship with somebody and you know this person isn't right for you, but you're too scared to make the decision. So <clears throat> you would literally wait for this person to break up with you before you'd ever have the confidence to break up with them yourself because it's not trusting your decision making. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like whether this is about a job or moving or friendships, relationships, what have you. It's like you will not move forward. You could really want to and have every sign that it's time for you to move on, but you won't because you don't trust yourself. So it's easier for me to just... And I wouldn't even say easier, though, because like I said, what I'm feeling inside of me, like I could not fathom existing in this every day because it's unsettling for me just for this little amount of time prior to me doing your reading while doing your reading. And I know that once I get this message from spirit out to you, the feeling is going to leave me. But that's not good enough for me. That's not OK for me that you guys are existing like this every day that's not cool like at all 
because I mean, my heart is beating out of my chest and I just could not fathom existing in this every day because this will take a toll on you. You know what I'm saying? So there's so much that you want. There's so much that you desire, but because of these people, whether they be parental figures or they be past partners, they broke down your self-confidence so much that you don't even trust yourself to make decisions about things. And that's why you guys sit in this. But the thing that spirit wants you to know is that in your near future, <clears throat> so talking about this is what we're working on in the month of December, because we don't want to go into 2019 like this, right? Because it's a new cycle that you guys are going into your yin cycle. So this is when we're sitting back and we're planning, we're sorting things out. We're thinking about how we're going to attack the year. You know what I'm saying? This is like numero uno. We want to do chakra work. We want to go do some research on the root chakra, the uh, sacral chakra and the solar plexus chakra. We want to get in tune with our divine gifts. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? If we're having issues with our finances, we want to get a handle on that prior to us going into 2019 and whatever it is that you guys need to face in regards to these past relationships or parental figures that really like seriously affected your self-esteem self-worth and self-confidence to where you don't trust yourself this is something that really wants to be dealt with and you already know i'm gonna tell you to go see a therapist i'm not joking you know what i'm saying because you don't want to go into next year like this. I say, heck, you don't want to go into tomorrow like this, dog. Because like I said, stress can kill you. That's not a joke. Like, that's not even me being funny. Like, it can literally kill you. You know what I'm saying? And all of this is just related into your worth and your value and your self-confidence. And these are things, I'm not going to say they're easy fixes. But in a sense, it's something that you have control over. It's something that a professional can work with you to help you uh, change around. You know what I'm saying? To set you in the right direction. Because right now, you guys are disempowered and you're living in a place where you're at the will of life. You know what I'm saying? It's like you only move when everybody else says move. And that's not fair because you're not really living. It's like you're living your life at the will of other people. And come on, Aries. I'm My North Node is an Aries. You know, Dagnabbit, <laughs> when I read about my Aries North Node, I was like, oh, Aries is the beast out here. Y'all just out here just, you know, running things and what move out of my way. This is me. Look at me. This is what I'm doing because I'm awesome. I'm about this life. Move and let me thank you, emperor. Hashtag. You know what I'm saying? So to say that you guys are, are so powerful and so driven it's not fair to you to allow another person to have you in this state to put your inner sanctuary in unrest. You know what I'm saying? It's like on the inside, somebody in your temple flipping tables and setting curtains on fires and things, you know? Like, that's supposed to be sacred and chill. Like, all this out here could be all whatever, but in here, I need it to just be chill, you know? Can't be having all of that. But anywho, whew, we got to get this together, Aries. Really, though. So it's one or the other. For some of you guys, it's, it's, it's partners, men and women. For others of you, it's, it's parental figures, mom and dad, that tore down your self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? Made you doubt yourself. And being an Aries, like, nah, dog. Y'all supposed to be telling everybody else what we supposed to be doing and how we jacking up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't be doubting yourself, but for your health sake, you know what I'm saying? For your health sake, confront this, deal with this. If you need to reach out for professional help, please do so. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like this is robbing you of happiness, is robbing you of creativity, is robbing you of all of the things that you're desiring, that you're drawing in. Because <laughs> you're in alignment with spirit. And it's like y'all are drawing all of this stuff in. But it's like this self-doubt is always what's been blocking your abundance from you. 
is the reason why you're always just so close, but not close enough. You know what I'm saying? It's time to stop backstepping and start trusting yourself. You know what I mean? Now, the two Oracle cards I have for you, we have Cat, the domestic cat. And it says, it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others. See what I'm talking about? Real. That need to, to have confirmation. Like, you have to know that you know that you know within yourself without needing another person to leave, for you to leave, or for a job to fire you before you know that it's time to go, or... You know what I'm saying? It's almost like having all of the signs of knowing that something isn't for you anymore, but still not, it's like deluding yourself by saying like, oh, I, I need a sign or, or I need spirit to tell me that, you know, this is really it and that, and it's like, you have all of the signs right in front of your face. You know what I'm saying? Everything is telling you like, this is not for you. This isn't in alignment with you anymore. But it's it's a lack of trust in self. It's a lack of trust in your decision making. And you will stand at a crossroads until you're covered in cobwebs because it, it causes that much fear in you to make a decision because it's always the fear of what if I tr choose wrong because it's rooted in a core belief that you'll always choose wrong. You feel me? The next card that we have is Kiwi. That would creep me out if I saw that bird in real life. Do a walking meditation each day for the next week. That's an interesting card. Do that. Each day for the next week, dag nabbit son of a gun, I said. And you better journal about it afterwards, too. Just walk in nature for a week. Don't have any intention. Don't think about anything. Just walk in silence. Don't even, um... Well, I'm not going to tell you to not have music the whole time. Because, you know, sometimes music can kind of put you in that space. But, uh... Just try walking, not having any intention, not thinking about any particular thing. And that's why I think without music would be good to just walk, be with yourself and see what it is that spirit starts to reveal to you. Because I feel like this is going to be very therapeutic for you and things will start to become clear. Because like I said, y'all are in alignment and y'all are, are, are primed and prepped to step into alignment with what's for you. But I feel like spirit is bringing this out so you don't become your own great undoing and you end up sabotaging all of the dope stuff that's in front of you guys. So that has been your general reading for December. My sweet, precious Aries that I love ever so much. Again, my apologies for missing you guys last month. But let me know below if this resonated, you know, in the comments below. And uh, y'all let me know about raffle websites <laughs> so I can give you free stuff. But um, I'll see you guys again this month for your love reading. I love your face. Deuces. Meow, meow, meow. That was my cat face. Or cat. Never mind. <laughs>